still to this day, I'm looking for another evil who wants to sit next to me. Next lane, I don't care who it is. New, tri state or and, and, I told and, the country, honestly, I, I, oh, I was saying the I, country. I ain't no oh, you could be prep, full prep. I don't care if who it could be a tuner driver. I don't care who it is. Whenever I see somebody saying that uh, you need a driver mod or stuff like that, man, they could sit in my seat any day. Hezzy's definitely on the list. Like, I'm gonna smoke that BMW bad. Oh. Bro. When I reached RPT, broke a camshaft. Do you feel like he would have won if, if everything worked out? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Street Alpha Podcast. I'm your host, Tooks. We got a guy, Josh, here. What up, what up? And today we got a, another guest from the street racing community, or scene, I should say. And uh, he claims to have the fastest Evo in the tri-state area, in the streets. We got to say in the streets. We got to be safe with that because I'm sure there are other Evos who actually go to the track who, you know, put down some. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's a little, it's a little, it's a little hectic out there. In, in the, the street. Evo, in the streets. Um, we got my guy, Ange. Ange the God from uh, New Jersey. He drove all the way out from New Jersey. So let's clap it up for Ange. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming down, brother. Um, it's super hot today. How was the drive here? It was cool? Two and a half hours. Two, Two and, and a half, half hours. hours. Okay. Yeah. Traffic? Hello, traffic. What, you took the GW? Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's hectic. It gets hectic out there. So we were hoping you were going to bring a car, but... Um, you mentioned that you, you're on Ignite. Yeah, right? Ignite. So you, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't gonna make no. it. <laughs> Yo, traffic with that clutch and that gas. No. Nah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, people know who you are. Yeah. Uh, and most yeah. of the time, the car's in the background for clips. They never really see it. So I mean, yeah. we got the Porsche back there, which is still a pretty nice looking car. Yeah. So um, a lot to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about your previous races that you've, you've done. Yeah. Um, and we're also going to talk about a little bit about how you started uh, in the, you know, in the street racing, what your first car was, and so on. So you've all, you you were born and raised in uh, Jersey. Yeah, Newark. Newark. Newark, New Jersey. Newark. Yeah, I was just telling you before, like Newark. Uh, I was over there at City Hall. Area. Yeah. Um, it was actually pretty pretty nice over there. A lot of stuff goes down over there, right? Yeah. Is there a lot of street racing in, in Newark or no? Um. Yeah. What was your first car, basically? Like, what was your your first uh, build? My first car I built on the street was um uh s2000 no way yeah it was a uh, it was a built s2000 it had a supercharger on it and then um it was going to these meets or whatever this was like 10 years ago and Same. uh yeah, had yeah. yeah it was a silver one um silverstone silverstone S2000. gray yeah yeah um was racing with it for a little bit and then you know the more you race, the more. Just wait, there was this was ten years ago. This was about the. Uh, so how, wait, how old are you now? Twenty-seven. Oh, you're twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You so, look young. Uh, yeah, you know how it is, man. Faster guys trying to come at you, so I went from supercharged to turbo. Um. Stock. So stock block, right? Stock motor. I had a uh, factory uh, bottom end. They come forged internals. Forged internals, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. You, I had the AP one. You change the retainers. They okay. crack. So you rev to nine. A little, a little past nine. A little past nine. Yeah. Um. Then always, I always have CLM, CLM Motorsports. They tune. Okay. All my, all my cars. Uh. Hondata or you AM standalone. On AM. That AM. Yeah. That's. Yeah. AM. Damn. It used. Yeah, so how I much power? It. Huh? How much power are you making on that? Supercharged. It was, it was supercharged. It was making about five hundred. It was like four sixty. That's pretty good for a supercharger. Yeah. Wait, five hundred uh, horsepower. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really Dang. good for a supercharger. Yeah. It was um. On the S2000, it was uh, not the Vortex one. What's the other one? Um, it starts with an S. I forgot. It was like an older model, like one of those first uh, gens. I, I I never had it. I had a turbo, so I didn't. I ended up going turbo after they, they you know, the more you go up, they try to bully you. Yeah. I put a turbo <laughs> on it, and then uh, that's when they started uh, X Performance. Started okay. making um, that uh, 8.8 .8 rear. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I slapped one of those on. Had the big Mickey's on it. Then after that, it was just. It they they got either. those out of the 300 ZX? Uh, no, it came out of a Ford. Oh, the Ford. Yeah, they yes, got yes, two yes, kits. Yes, yes. It's yeah, two yeah, kits. Yeah. You can yeah, switch. Yeah. yeah, you can switch the right, uh, right. divs. So yeah, I slapped that kit on turbo. It made like 800, and um, after that, I, I rate. It was crazy. I raced the Evo, and that was the last race, um, I had, and then I ended up getting rid of the car. Damn. So how long did you had the um? That's a thousand. That's a thousand. Yeah. Um, uh, probably for like. 
almost three years, two almost three years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That was a fun car. Small car. Regret. Uh, so wait, you were racing since you were 17, 18 years old. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Did you ever come out to New York back then? No, never. Never. No, it was all local. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's when it was all local. Damn. So back then, I had I had my S two thousand. Uh, around the same time, and I only made like 525 yeah. stock, stock everything on internals, um, AP2, and I had a S366 on it, mm -hmm. Borg Warner, uh, 2000 CC injectors, like full upgraded fuel lines, everything. That car was like good to make, probably like with the setup itself, probably yeah. like 900, yeah. but I was stock everything on it, so yeah. I ended up um, washing the rings. Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. I was having fuel issues, um, but bro. That car, like, I, I love, I love that car. Yeah, no, nah, that car was, I that's one it. car regret, man. Literally, like, I, I want to get one again, but the prices now are crazy on yeah. those cars. Like, I was paying, at the time, seventeen to 20000 for them, and now it's like, you pay like thirty k, which is like retail. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, hard, it's hard, it's hard right yeah, now. Which is one. crazy. It, all, the, all those classic GDM cars, just the prices are insane now. Yeah. And it's like, almost like, as much as I love that car, it, I don't feel like it's worth what they're going for. No, nah, definitely for the not, man. 30,000 30, for S2000 back then. Yeah, it's Actually, crazy. you know how I got the S2000? Um, I had a, a 97 Honda Civic with a built uh, LSV. Okay. And um, this dude hit me up random. He wanted to trade me. I thought S2000 back then. I'm like, nah, he's joking. He literally pulled up to my crib and traded me flat, like, even. It was a stock S2000? Oh, uh, yeah. It was stock. Bone stock. Bone stock. Wow. The dude, he was like, he was tall. He was like six something. So he was like, can't even drive it. So he ended up trading me. And I just built it from there. And it was an AP. What year was AP it? AP1. It was uh, AP 2001, I think it was. A one? Yeah. Yeah. The earlier years were like, um, they had like, those are the ones that people always wanted because they yeah, rev up to nine. They rev, yeah. I had AP2, two, two point, it was a 2.2, obviously. And, and it had a, it was 85, but it yeah, was yeah. a little bit more mm -hmm. torquey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it also was dry. It also was dry by wire. It wasn't the the cable, so I, I definitely missed that car. So after the S two thousand, what did you get into? That's how I ended up getting into the Evo. I got that car as a shell. It was a trade. So um, you got the Evo as a shell for yeah, the S two thousand. Yeah, it was a crazy story behind that Evo too. Um, I ended up trading the S two thousand for a shell. I never knew nothing about Evos. I never even looked at the platform, thought about it. I didn't even care for it. But I ended up training them anyway, and I just built it. I mean, that's how it started. So were you on the forums a lot? What year was this? Oh, uh, this was this was about five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. That's not that's pretty recent. Yeah. Damn, so you had the S2K for a minute then? Yeah. Well, three years, and then I had it parked, and then I ended up getting rid of it. And then uh, I got the Evo show. I had that sitting for like six, seven months, show, just sitting there. And then, you know, researching what you could do. Yeah. It all started with, you know, I'm just going to get it running. You know, I don't care about horsepower. I just want it running. My first setup, I think it made 860 or something like that. 860? Yeah. Damn. What the fuck? Oh, uh, first setup, setup, dude. That setup was, uh, the setup, I actually ran the first Evo. It was a blue Evo from New York. Uh, what, what color was it? Was it the electric uh, blue? Evo? Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. was the fir that was the first time I actually ever, like, Raced the car ever like I've never even tested it. No, not just they wanted to race. And you were making in. so you were making eight hundred. You said right? Yeah, it was it was eight sixty two. And it was your first. It was your first time ever racing on, on eight hundred. That was my first time ever like really testing the car, racing it. Yeah, that car. Yeah. Did you do any test passes or anything before? Or you no no test hits. None of that. I'm just hopped in it. We was rocking and rolling. So I had that race. Talk about that first race. Um, it was a pretty good experience. Went in your you first nervous? race. Nervous as hell. Yeah. Yeah, I ask yeah. every I ask everybody that. It's like a common question, just because like I, I want to see like what the mindset is with some people. Some people will say, "No, nah, I'm you know I'm never nervous." No, nah, yeah, no. Nah, some people nervous, aren't. So but, you I'll know. tell you one thing, you know, going from rural wheel drive to old wheel drive is a whole another. It, you you like it better? Way better. Really? Way better. Old wheel drive is king. Way better. I mean, it's more consistent. That's what it Way is. Way more consistent. You come off the line like a slingshot. Is it is it more exciting though? Like. Because some people like the, the thrill of a rear-wheel drive car, Have, yeah. being able to keep control of the car. Yeah, I liked it. You know? it. you know, the S2000, that power, it was fun. But um, from drag racing perspective, uh, coming out of a hole without prep yeah. on an 800, 
horsepower car on a rear wheel drive car ain't fun, but doing it on an old wheel drive car, you feel it just going like it even when you're driving. Yeah, you could just step on it and go. You ain't got to worry about fishtailing, yeah. fighting it. You out. Yeah, yeah. but I I actually wasn't. Uh, my boy has a Talon. He's like a four G six three. Like he has a, a DS. He's into DSMs. Yeah, and um. I was in the passenger seat when he was like he was first tuning his car after he set it up and i just remember being in the passenger seat and like he was telling me to look at the laptop while he was doing the pulls oh yeah and i couldn't even like yo i was so scared because that launch bro like i've never felt anything like that before no, and it was, was only in it and, the, and there was another evo i was in back in the day too it was making around 800 horsepower and i was in the back seat bro and i was literally in the yeah, seat in the back yeah it definitely put you in the so seat so it's yeah all wheel drive is definitely um a scary car to be a passenger in yeah. but from a driver's experience i never really got to experience all wheel drive um you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah especially yeah. in a, a car like that 800 horsepower it's, it's insane so this is the same obviously the same car you have now right yeah so after that first run um was it for money at all or no oh yeah it was it was for a little chump change so wait so you actually didn't even this is your first run and you and you were doing it for money like it wasn't yeah, like a test because like we've been doing it already in different cars you know what i mean so copy, it's just it's, it's a newer car but it, you know what i mean it's still there right so but being that you didn't know it was going to be consistent or not that isn't like you know like i mean we was trying our luck you know what i mean i see you just having fun because you just yeah, you just enjoy it yeah. basically so after after that were you were you like consistent with the runs or like you took a time you took a break after that to work on the car more because this is like five um, years five years ago you said right yeah with that same setup mind you i built in the garage i didn't take it to a shop or anything like that so it was just a lot of trial and error yeah you know what i mean like still to this day is trial and error with that car um yeah we did a couple runs with that setup it did pretty good that was one of my most consistent setups really yeah the only thing that that probably always gave me a problem was uh the clutch i was running a Xetti twin i was running a twin at the time um but with those clutches, like even with the clutch I got now, I got a quartermaster triple. Yeah. Uh, shout out to them. They hooking me up with uh, okay. the clutch or whatever. Um, yeah, they're pain. They're pain. Really? Yeah. What, what's, what's, the, what's the hassle with it? You, you got to know how to adjust them. It's not like a clutch you can just throw in and go, especially when you're throwing high horsepower at it. Yeah. Even dyno time eats away clutch life, you know, anything. So you always got to be on it. Like if you're uh, one of those guys that, um, that race the car, but don't work on it you're gonna run into a whole bunch of like problems that really simple problems that you could just adjust the clutch stuff it's just weird yeah, stuff like little that stuff. yeah so you is it how many passes can you get out of that clutch like if you're at the track all the time if you're at the track i mean you're you're, you're more so in the street but it's hard to say i know uh guys who run at the track with my clutch i got now they say like 70 passes 70 yeah if they're at the track consistently. Yeah, basically. yeah. But that's like high horsepower, like that's pretty I mean big that's boost. Pretty, yeah. So the Evos, what do they what do they make? What's the potential with those? Like what can what's like the highest horsepower Evo right now? The highest horsepower Evo right now, um, I would say is Reef's Evo. Um he's I think I've heard that. Like Reef from Connecticut, R R T. Yeah, I think I was just talking about that earlier. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know Yeah, yep. so uh he has the white one. He has the world record right now too. He has the fastest Evo in the world. It's um, so it's the highest horsepower Evo and the and the fastest. Yeah, well, high horsepower, give or take. I'm not sure. You know, it's all over the world, but uh, he do have the uh, fastest Evo in the world right now. What's his? Uh, what did he run? His ET, I think it was a uh, a seven six. I don't know if he cracked the seven fives. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't looked. God damn. <laughs> yeah, but then you got uh you got Nick who's uh who's with them too. Um, he has the mile an hour record too. So uh what's that? What's that record for him? It's like 190. 190, 190 something, yeah. Jeez. Damn. Um he has the mile an hour record. An that's Evo. another fast car. 190 in an Evo, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Does your and car rattle at all? Does it rattle? feel old? Uh nah, not really. I feel like a lot of those right. JM cars they, they have that like uh I don't know. It, I mean, the S two thousand never felt like never felt like old, but I feel like a lot of the higher uh, mileage cars the gdm ones they, they have like that i don't know they just have like an old rattle kind of feeling to them yeah but nah i mean this one's pretty sturdy suspension everything works you know yeah I mean? upgraded everything yeah pretty much so 
let's talk about because so what I, what I we normally usually ask you know a little bit of background stuff but um i feel like we try to get now we're trying to get into the the recent stuff more so early on because yes yeah, so, so that everybody yeah. would want so just because i mean it's interesting i, I like to hear people's like yeah. uh he's got smiling too <laughs> <laughs> he so, knows it's coming yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna i'm just gonna ask you questions bro that's it so um what was your most recent run the last one yeah um was it the gtr I ran was it, it a gtr it was supposed to be a gtr super? run it was supposed to be a GTR run, but something happened. That, uh, oh, was it a uh, Kaju? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were trying to get a yeah, run yeah, with him, right? Yeah. So yeah. What, what happened with that? Um, he hit me up. We set it up or whatever, and then it was supposed to be a no prep event, but I guess no prep to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, his, his boy had a track bite in a bottle. <laughs> it was a long story, man. Oh, uh, so there's a lot of drama behind that. Yeah, so that race didn't happen. So wait, they pour the, they trying to do a pour and go? They try to do a pour and go, but from our knowledge, it was supposed to be uh, like water, like a water pour and go. Yeah, yeah. Because even if you're doing a pour and go, you're still technically prepping because now you're dragging that prep after right. you do a burnout. So right. there's still prep on that ground, you know what I mean? And then he, he didn't want me to prep at all. He said, I got full blown slicks, I can't prep. So, I right. just don't I just don't really get it how <clears throat> if you know the cars are gonna spin this and that, it's gonna be unsafe, right? But if you want the car to perform well and you know, to actually race, I get it. It's a gamble, but at the same time, you know, you want to be safe in the in a in a race like that, you know what I'm saying? So why why don't you guys have that situation where it has to be um full prep, you know what I'm saying? Um well Right now, that's where we at right now. We're we're uh, planning on doing it again, but to like avoid all the problems, we're both gonna fully prep. Right. He said he was gonna give me two cars too. So so, uh, so really? um, his words what do you know that. about this car? What do you know about the GTR that me? you know of? Yeah, because it doesn't seem like you even care what people have going on, but like nah, you know what it is. At the end of the day, it's a gambling game. You do your research. Yeah. It is what it is. So based on your research, what do you know about it? It's a fast car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast car, and he definitely uh. He got it to work now. When he first brought it out, it wasn't working. This GTR's uh, Kaju, right? Yeah, okay. that GTR was not working when he first brought it out. Right. But I ain't gonna lie, it's working now. It is fast. So it's fast. It is fast. So, um, any any timeline, or when do you think it's gonna it's gonna happen with that? Um, soon. 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 So a lot of this stuff is waiting game, more so, right? Like yeah. you're, you're kind of waiting on, like. Are you more aggressive when it comes to actually trying to call somebody out and, and get the runs? Or it depends like, on who it is. Okay. Um, in the beginning, Kaiju was that person that I wanted to get it on with because, yeah. you know, his mouth is crazy. Yeah, yeah. But um, and he's close. He's local. He's right by me. Right. So he's he was gonna just get it off anyway. Has he, no? um, yeah, still. That was the other day. Yeah, still. Yo, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but all I heard was some dude going, yo, he was – I don't know. It, it was like fighting words, almost the way yeah. he was talking that. Nah, line. He, yo, he's, bro, he's a troll. Yeah. Like, I, sometimes it gets a little like, I get it. It's car stuff, you know. It's car talk, but like sometimes yeah. it's like, is it personal? <laughs> like you don't feel like it's personal with him, though, right? I don't feel like it's personal with nobody. Do you ever feel like it's personal with anybody? Like, does do you let do you let like the some of the talk get under your skin? It's like uh, I treat it like you know if it's if it's like we playing basketball. Yeah, you know right. I mean? Yeah, right. At the moment, you know what I mean. To get heated, you say what you say. It is what it is. But then you know. Yeah, you got to keep it off composure. the court. Right. You know you got to keep. I it. think it's just the social media thing. It's just yeah. it's getting in their head. It's like oh like I gotta make myself look out like stand yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I I agree with that a lot of it. But I mean I I don't need, you never know who's I mean you can tell who's doing it for clout. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, it's cool. It, it, it's, uh, you know, it keeps things spicy. Right. You got to have that. And boxing, the same thing. Like, yeah, 100%. It's just behind exactly behind like the boxing. scenes, they're, they're friends. They're cool. Yeah. Um, but once, those, you know, once they're out in public and they're doing events and stuff to promote the fight, they got to do what they got to do. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So it's, it's a pretty sure. similar feel. But I feel like people kind of get that, you know, they get the wrong idea sometimes. And they yeah. take it to another level. What was, what was um, your actual race that you 
the last time you raced from the street? Like your actual real race? Uh, yeah, that was with the Supra. With the Supra, The right. Supra, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, talk about what happened. In, we, we actually saw that one too. So talk about what happened with that race. Um, we, was, uh, we ran twice that day. The, the first time they, uh, they jumped the light. Right. The, the actual driver jumped, and he said that he, uh, he left because he was on a foot brake. So, like, he felt like the car moving already, so he just went, which is should have been automatic payout. Yeah. You know what I mean? But everybody know with those guys, they don't want to pay. <laughs> he that said those nothing. guys. <laughs> that ain't so, he yet. actually jumped from the light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then on uh, the second race, what happened? Second race, uh, we, we changed spots, and um, the car, for some reason, the car wasn't running right. And uh, we were already there, heated moment. We ain't backing out. Um, so the, my car bogged, which my car never bogs ever. Like, right. you know what I mean, my two-step works, everything works. The car bogged, and then um, the car was just dancing. Um, it was at a point where I did let off, and then when I tried to hit it back on, it threw me to the right lane. Like, I, I can probably show you a video or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, once it threw me to the right lane, I was just like, I let it coast. I'm like, I'm not even risking it at this point. I thought from the video, I thought you were miss shifting. Nah, yeah, that's what I thought, man. You can't miss with, with the type of trains I got. <laughs> is it? Is it so? Because it seems like a lot of the races that I've seen you, you in, yeah. it, it seems like it's hard to get get going with with Evos. Is that well, especially high horsepower ones, and um, especially with the two yeah. steps? Well, that's what any that's what any manual car. You know what I mean? Um, well, do you think you feel like it's a four cylinder thing? No, nah, definitely not a four cylinder thing. Everybody who knows Evos know that. Uh, Shifting them is always a problem, and that, that comes with the clutch. You know right. what I mean? You always got to get it on point. It's like a hit or miss. But just manuals in general is a hit or miss. Like, I'm racing automatic cars, you know what I mean? GTR, yeah. Trackhawks, TTRS, BMWs, all automatic, you know what I mean? So that's why uh, whenever I do set up these races, a lot of these guys be trying to get me to uh, give them a spot or something like that. Yeah. Or, like, uh, they want to prep and they don't want me to prep, but I'm taking a gamble more than them because I'm already having to shift my car. Right, you know right, what I mean? right, So, that's the thing. So they asked for a spot against you. Yeah, I got some crazy, crazy. How, how uh, is that possible? They had a, even though this was a manual car, but uh, one of these guys recently, just, uh, they wanted me to race an old drive Civic, which makes jam, and um, he wanted to start two cars behind me, pass me, and then I go. So like, that's the type of stuff I get in this. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I know for a fact if you rerun rerun the super again, I know. Oh uh, yeah, it's, that's nah, good. It, it, it's over. It's it's a fact because we all know your car nah, is we tried. Enough. I mean, we, we we I reached out to him personally a couple of times, and I mean honestly, I'm gonna give it to the guy because he honestly you say his car can't sit next to mine. Yeah. And you know what I mean, it's just so much you could do. You know, what yeah, you can yeah. only ask for a rerun. I can't just be like, yo, like you know what I mean. Yeah. You I mean, from the it. from the 360 video from Rock, yeah. it looks like you were like gapping him pretty much a lot the, and then the car there, the car would have if it would have worked it would have it would have been nice but uh later that uh day we uh we found out that my intercooler pipe was cracked with a blow off valve as well yeah two big cracks too so that's pretty right. pretty much why i bogged so like uh yeah even if like the car would have shifted well and everything probably still would have problems with that what were the steps for the super race all right so um like like when i ran rpt yeah. so usually we got this thing right where uh because he don't want to get burned down with you know automatic yeah. cars whatever they got right. like three five seconds before it goes into limp mode or whatever so we came up with this thing or well, not we like this is normal they, they right. do it like this so uh we ready up at the same time so neither, neither of us get burnt down so um the flagger gave the command you know he told us like he said he was gonna wave his hands and that means to get on your two-step, and then right. he's going to hit the light. You know what I mean? So that was that. But uh, he ended up jumping the light, and, I mean, that was that. And then um, after, like, the whole thing, we tried to run it back, and they just they didn't want it. So, damn. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't really get the, the flag of doing this. Like Yeah, so, like, the hand movement wasn't, like, a one, two, three light. It was, like, the, once you see his hands go up, that's when you that's do this. when you get on your two-step it's yeah. not a countdown like yeah, one yeah. two three yeah. you know yeah. what i mean it's like get on your two-step get on your two-step and then i'm gonna hit the light that's how it was supposed to be yeah i don't that i don't yeah. really like 
I like the point then. It's more like you know official. what it is. It, it's one hundred percent more official. And it's common, more common. But uh, when you get guys who like don't want to get burned down, like um, a lot of American cars when they race, that's what you know. what I mean, that's how yeah, you do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you said you said those. You know, they don't pay, right? <laughs> they know for not paying, bro. <laughs> they know for so. How do you? I never really ask anybody this because it's a common thing, and it's not something that I'm saying. It's just something that people in the comments normally say on these videos. Yeah. Um. And a lot of people are kind of fed up with the fact that you know it's like you can't even have a, a solid run anymore without there being yeah. drama and nah, so on. Yeah. So, what's your take on that? Like, how do you feel when it comes to like um, people not paying up? Um. <laughs> So I don't know what you mean, like, like, like compared to how it was back then, and now since there's cameras involved and things, you know what it is. Now uh, it's more of, uh, you said like, like they're trying to everybody's trying to look for a G Dub. Nobody's trying to actually gamble. You know what I mean? Like it mm. ain't fun no more. They took the they took the they fun took out. The fun of out, it. right? So uh, even like, <clears throat> you could go there, and um, you know, you do your research, check the car out, whatever you think is a good gamble. You're gonna take the race. So, like, even if you win, now you got to, like, argue about everything. You know what I mean? I'm, it's not fun anymore. You don't really seem like you like to argue, though. Like, yeah. I, I feel you're like pretty you seem, chill, bro. You're pretty, yeah, you haven't, <laughs> like, you're just like, all right, man. Like, <laughs> I try well, to Yeah, you seem pretty reasonable when it comes to these steps, especially, it's like. It's the people around you. It's like, ah, oh, fucking, we, get, we need to get paid. You know what I'm saying? You, talk, yeah. you know what it is? It's facts, though. We, we mean. Sorry. If I win, you know, if you win a race, right, you expect to get paid, right? Right. I mean, that's that's how we are. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of that has. Uh, it's Especially if changed. you went off a jump, like if you jump the light, bro. If you if your car moves before the light, there should be no issue on why you shouldn't be paying. Yeah. Do you go by track rules basically? Whatever you do at the track is what you do on nah, the street. No, the streets is different. Like so, but track rules. I mean, like you know, if you if you jump at the track, you're, you're well. Yeah, if you red light, you lost. You know what I mean. Right. But on the streets, you know, if you move before the light, because if it would have been us, if, if my car moves before the light, I know they want to get paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like everybody else. Nah, facts. And then you also race one stock, right? Yeah, he jumped the light too, but he <laughs> paid. But it was another hassle. So he did pay. He did. Yeah, he paid. But it was. But you guys ran it back twice. Right? No, you once. Trying, I'm sorry. No, then once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But once the first, once he jumped, you guys try to set it up again? Yeah, we were going to set it up that same night, but um, I, I have no gas. Like, I have no gas left. And at that time, it's not even, you can't even get the gas. You know what I mean? Okay. So, was would there you, any. Would you, you, you want to do a rerun with him? At, at oh, yeah. 100%. Time? 100%. Cool. With his new setup and my new setup, that'd be one for the books. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was literally crying when uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was one of your one of your people's, but they had uh, they had pulled up. They had pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> now you talking about the one stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about one. Yo, it was so funny on camera. Like, yo, Rock was like, I don't know. One of your men said. One of your men said yeah, that. Yeah, you know, he, he was calling him out. He was quiet. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he didn't want to admit it. That was hilarious, man. But um, after that, after that situation happened, um, you guys weren't alive, and you were trying to set something up again after, yeah, right? Yeah. So what happened with that? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, it just died out. Nothing ever picked up. Never. Nah, no, honestly, me and One Stock never spoke about it ever again. After that, it was I don't know. It this, just died yeah. out. It's crazy. So he doesn't even run either, right? No. Nah. I mean, nobody trying to run him. I think his car is down right now. Yeah, just, I think it is down. Yeah. Any any future races that you're going to have? Honestly, it's hard to say right now. All the people I wanted to race, I already raced. All the top people. Because when I first came out with the car, I was already racing um, faster cars. Like, yeah. A lot faster cars. Um. Yeah, you, you literally like 800. Let's go. Let's go do it. Let's, let's yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, we ran, we ran killers. We ran, we ran eight second GTRs already, like with the first setup and stuff like that. Um, Damn. Would you call right out? Now? Would you call out like Kaju again? Um, oh, nah, stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you said you'd run well stock, yeah. um, Kaju. Yeah, I want that race to happen. Um, one stock. Yeah, I do want the rerun with one stock. You know what I mean? That would be a, that'd be a good one for the books. What about um, Peppa? 
Oh, uh, Peppa too. Peppa, Peppa yeah. creep. He had an automatic car. He was complaining about me creeping. He ended up creeping that day. Well, that's a thing. He paid up. Well, he was saying he was saying that you had a problem with your brake. No. 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 We the the steps on that race with me and Peppa. I I came over here too to New York. Yeah. Um, I even blew a slick out out here. Like I oh. popped I popped one of my slicks, fixed it, and re-ran them on the same like I mean, right, same right, night. Right. Um, but with that race, the steps were. Uh, I'm allowed to creep. Um, he's not supposed to creep, and I even started a fender back, so you know it mm. gives me the the room for the creep or whatever. Yeah. So um, when we got on a two step, his car was already moving. You know, light came on. It was a race. Was your car moving too or no? Yeah, I was. I already. I, uh, he gave me the creep. So okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my car was rolling a little bit, but on, on that race, the flagger burned me down bad, and uh, I ended up breaking two spark plugs that night. So like um, even their camp knew it. They 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 said it too. They, the flagger burned did both you, of us down. Did you um, chase them at that time? Oh, no, I, I didn't. I didn't see the video. But did you chase no, them? No. Once once I was on my two step and I went to launch the car, the car just instantly like died out. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, it wasn't I saw, even I saw a race. That one, yeah. You know what that I mean? Was it happened under twice. The that was under the bridge, right? Yeah. 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 That was uh. It was hype. People. So wait. Crazy. That could have been a break. The no, car broke. No. Broke I should have got paid too for him creeping, but. Um, like I always say, bro, I want the race. Like even with that uh, silver Evo, yeah. I could have just went home. I still wanted the race. You know what I mean? That's why we right. ran it back. Yeah. That's that's the fun part about gambling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, for you, I feel like you never back down on racing. Nah, it's fun. So it's that, all fun I, to me. I know for a fact your car can perform. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you race anybody? Anybody? Like as in any car? Um, yeah. If it's if it's a fair race, like I said, it's a gambling sport, so you know what I mean. You do your research. If it's worth it, we're going for it. You know what I mean. Do um, do people ask you to pop your hood? You pop your hood pretty much. You're pretty transparent. Yeah, right? I, it doesn't I, matter. I show everybody my setup. I don't care. I ain't do you scared. ask other people to pop their hoods? I never asked nobody to pop their. So hoods. how do you do research? That's what I always wonder. Like how how do you Damn, guys even? Damn, bro, <laughs> you're just taking risks. <laughs> it's a gambling sport, man. Like, you literally you just say, boxing, like, right. like for example, when you watching boxing, right? You want to see what your other, how your other opponent move. Right. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing. You got to watch their fights. You watch, you watch how they, who they race. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys pick and choose. So, like, if somebody's racing you and yeah. you got a fast car, then you already know. They probably got a fast car, too. So yeah. then you watch y'all race. You know what I mean? Yeah. And see how it's all. That's how it is. Really. You feel like a lot of, a lot of runs are, are, like, it's a waiting game because a lot of people, everyone's watching each other to see who calls out who first. And nah. then it's like. You know what I'm you know what I think it is honestly I think everybody really scared of everybody they scared to get the loss because they of that that comes back to that whole clout situation yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like when I get my car out bro I promise I raced like last time I raced like what four 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 times in one week you know what I mean like I don't wait a month for one race or yeah. three weeks and then I'll try to find somebody else I'll you want to somebody will call me or hit me up on Instagram yo uh this guy's trying to lock it in right now I bet we out. I'll call my guys up Come on, we put in the car. We out. That's how it is. Did, did, so did you build your car to to? Well, I don't. I don't want to say like that. Do you feel like the more you put into your car, the less anxiety you have because you feel like you'll have a better shot at winning the runs? Um, no, nah. no. Nah, I mean, like let's say if your car had, I don't know what your car makes, but yo, know, honestly, bro, horsepower. Um, I say it like numbers. Or yeah, it, it doesn't, don't matter. Yeah, that's, you need the most matter. consistent car to win. 100%. Um, and you need the driver, you know what I mean? Because you can have a guy, look, like, for example, bring Kaiju back up. Like, his car is fast. In the beginning, he had issues because he just got the car. He's learning the car now, you know what I mean? Right. But yeah. right now, his car is a killer. You get it? So his like, car is a killer or his, like, because of his because His of car is a killer because, I mean, how hard, is it? <laughs> how hard is it to press the gas, man? He's driving an automatic car. True. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... How hard is it to press the gas? He's driving an automatic car. All you need is balls, man. You got balls in a, in a car like that, you winning. I hope That's you're it. there. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, people... Um, see, what you just said, it's like a... It's one of those things where it's like controversial with that. Yeah. Because most people think that it's easy to get in an automatic car and drive it. But it also depends on, like you said earlier, like rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. That, that could be a yeah, factor, too. Yeah, 100%. Um, all-wheel drive though automatic might be the best combination and probably the easiest combination to drive it's too easy yeah it's cheat just code, straight line bro that's, that's it cheat code. i yeah. think so but for real-wheel drive in a supra uh 
complicated, bro. It's very complicated. With high horsepower, I think yeah, it's probably yeah. a little it tough. De- it depends. I mean, it, it don't depend, but yeah, you know what I mean? Um, You need a little more driving experience. Yeah. Like Peppa, for instance. You see how many times uh, oh, yeah, he that was, car he, he almost danced way ca- too crashed. much, and yeah. you know what I mean? But thankfully, the dude the driver, so, you know what I mean, he could hold it down, but... Yeah, shout um, out to Peppa, man. Yeah. I, that guy got driver mod. <laughs> yeah. driver mod right yeah, there. Yeah, Peppa's good. He's, he's definitely good. Yeah. So, um, what's, what's next for, like, for the Evo? Um, so, I was going to keep this setup I have now, which is a killer setup. It's not even turned up yet, and it made jam, and it's working. But, um, like, since I always had this car, I always try new things. So I'm, I'm going with this new turbo kit, um, new company, and we're going to see where it goes from there. So you don't really talk about what, what you had done to the car, right? Um, it depends. I could, I could give you a little so break. You talk about <laughs> the setup a little bit? I don't know. I, I, you know, some people don't want to talk about it because I get it. You know what I mean? Right now, the car is on the 72, 72 okay. Precision. Um, twin scroll, twin scroll. I saw our two two way skates, so I just yeah, <laughs> two scroll. dumps. <laughs> it works. You know what I mean, the setup works. This is probably the uh, the how you say it, the most like uh, reliable setup that I had so far, without me having to change a whole bunch of things. Because once you get high in this horsepower, uh, you gotta swap a whole bunch of things out, crazy like left and right. On the on the on the on your on your motor. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, like, uh, when I raced RPT, I broke a camshaft, but, like, you, know, you, won, you won that race, no? Huh? You won the race. That wasn't, nah, a, that RPT, wasn't, R- it. we ran twice. Oh, yeah, you ran that, twice. That yeah, wasn't really, uh, ran twice. that wasn't really a solid run from both yeah, of you guys, right? The first you guys time wasn't really, either. we both bogged, and yeah. I was out here in New York when we, uh, when we did the first one. Uh, we, we both bogged, but, uh, lucky for me, he bogged more than me. Um, Do you feel like he would have won if, if everything worked out? No one knows. You know what I mean? Both cars didn't make a solid pass. But uh, I don't know. Never know. His no. car, bro, I'm not going to lie. The way his, when he did that, that, first, uh, that first launch, I was like, yo, that, that, that thing was, is uh, fast. You got to keep in mind, too. Um, he didn't have a lot of seat time, and that car wasn't what it was like right now. That was right. his older setup, which still made jam or whatever, but... Um, yeah, that was his first time bring. That was his first time ever, like that was his first race with that car. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. When we when we came out to New York, and we've been talking about it for months. You know what I mean? We always talk about doing test hits together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. And then um, we just we hit each other up. We said let's just get over with. You know what I mean? And then uh, that's that, when I came out here. That wasn't for money though, Rose. It was a test. Yeah, it was it was for a couple of dollars. It was for a couple okay. of dollars. Because I was like, why is there so many people there for just a test run? Yeah, like, it, it was it was literally a test run. It wasn't like for bragging rights and okay. like I don't care. You know I mean? Yeah, our pretty was cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, cool guy. Nah, he cool. You see a lot of Jersey, New York action going back and forth. And it seems like a lot of this stuff that um, you come out to is more like it's like Jersey versus New York. I mean yeah. we're all we're all tri state, but it gets um, hectic, man. It it really gets hectic. Like, I mean, maybe right now we know the whole GTR situation calling out the whole New York. But even with, uh, yeah. I think it was Peppa's race, there was like drama over that. Oh, too. yeah, that was definitely a New York versus Jersey thing. Yeah, I so went over there with five people only. Really? Yeah. I thought those are all your people. Nah, I only went there with five people. Damn. So you, know, th- you know what I really want to see, though? I want to see New York versus New Jersey shootout. That's like what the I've been hearing about this. I've been one of the about fastest. This for so long. Yeah, one of the fastest or killers out there in the street, like you, Kaju, and then, you know, Juan Stock, Hezzy, all those guys. Yo, listen, Jersey got I would want to see that. I would, would want to see that. So do you feel like you're, the, you're, you're one of the top guys out there? Uh, in Jersey? Yeah. Um, or who would, you look, who would you say is the top guy right now in Jersey? Right now, right now, I would say King Street-wise. doing his thing. Kaiju. Kaiju. I would say yeah. Kaiju right now is doing his thing. For him uh, yeah. to come out here and... Uh, kill like three new york cars back to back yeah it's pretty <laughs> yeah, crazy I mean, man i mean i at the same time he wouldn't run uh uh reef yeah. he, he wouldn't run the r8 gambling sport man sometimes you pick and choose hey oh, man sometimes you gotta grab your balls and fucking race let's, let's get <laughs> it over lying. with come on bro <laughs> yo you know? that'd be a good race that'd be yeah. a really good, good really good race is I mean, he racing a, what's up what's up with him who reef yeah I mean, he's been trying to race uh, Kaju, but yeah. I don't know. 
That'd be a good race. That Ari's fast as fuck. That'd be a good race. Yeah. That Ari is is definitely fast. But I don't he hasn't run on the street, has he? No, nah, it hasn't been. He's been low key. He was in Texas with it. Yeah, yeah. And that car it did like two Yeah, he usually road races it, right? Bro. Yeah, road yeah. racing, yeah. That car is fast. No, those cars fast. It's like not fast. Motor, <laughs> those cars make jam. It's not quick. It's fast. Yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely it definitely does. I I, I want to see a New York versus Jersey uh shootout for sure. But like you said, it's been probably talked about. Yeah. I mean, times. I heard about it so many times, but it's just uh it's just one of those things like somebody got to actually step in and make it happen. So why don't you make it happen? <laughs> nah, I can't be me, man. <laughs> what I, you mean, bro? A, as a matter of it fact, we're going to make we're going to make it happen. That's a straight off of podcast. Yeah. We're going to make it happen. I'm saying if we do, we're going to we're going to plan it out or something. I don't know. We'll we'll do something. Yeah, I think I think as this podcast grows, I think yeah. it'll um bring good attention. We don't want negative. And that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. That's why, like, you know, I don't, whatever you don't, what people, whatever you don't want to talk about, I, like I said, I respect that. So yeah. we want to bring positive vibes and we definitely right. want people who are watching to, to be able to, um, to enjoy the content yeah. and learn more about the people that they look up to. So, you know, there's people out there who are building an Evo yeah. and nah, they see yeah, your I car get, and it's I get like, DMs oh, damn. all over the world from people building Evos and they just want to know about it. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. And um, I know a lot of people who literally start the same way you did yeah. and, for some reason, it's like whoever gets into an Evo, they always start with a shell. Yeah, because Evos are, are like, <laughs> you know, it's just like a Honda, man. It's just an old drive Honda. Different shell, but um, you still got them uh, them problems with trying to go fast. They break. They a break, lot. yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, they break. Um, with, my, with my particular car, uh, I think I only broke that motor. Yeah. Wait, what that motor? Was, uh, the, the camshaft. When that camshaft. Um, you had spark plug issues, you said, right? Huh? Yeah, spark plug issues. No, I'm talking about just like uh like catastrophic like the spark plug issue ain't no. You could just slap you the swap, plugs and swap them out. But, like, but I'm saying actual, when you at the runs, like whenever you were in the race, you did have you did have issues with that, right? Yeah, yeah. And that was because uh, uh so like with Evos, they're not like Hondas. Hondas like you could you could t- set up the uh the two step where you see all them flames. Yeah. Like with Evos, you can't really do that. They don't like them. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's one of the little evil secrets I just let out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, honestly, it's expensive now probably to get, even get into an evil, right? Like, even a shell um, is expensive. They're just yeah. like SU thousands. Pri- well, those cars were always expensive. Yeah, they were always expensive. But, like, always. right now, um, when, I, when I got my shell, it was, like, around, like, the 8,500 mark around there. Yeah. But I'd be seeing shells go for, like, 12, 15. You know what I mean? Just for the shell. Yeah. On Evo 8s or, or? Eights. Yeah, 8s, 9s. 8s, 9s, same yeah. thing. Damn, bro. I, I That was my dream car. Like, I, when I got out of high school, before I had the S2000, that was, like, the car I wanted. I would literally go home and and uh, be on the Mitsubishi website. Yeah. It was, like, 2006. Yeah, yeah, It was the last year they made it. Mm-hmm. And I remember I wanted one so bad. And uh, <laughs> I was trying to get my grandma to co-sign for it. Damn, and, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah I, was, I was really trying to get that car. But uh, my boy Alan ended up getting it. And um, that's when I started learning about the issues, the transmission, yeah. the transfer case, and all that stuff, and how expensive they were. But I ended up getting S2000 after that, and I actually probably happy happier that I got that car because it was more reliable. Yeah, S2000 was fun, man. Yeah. It was a cool car. Definitely more reliable. Um, Forge internals as well. Yeah. And it made power, but I just I built that car in in a garage too, so um, I learned a lot. But at the same time, you know. It's part of the experience when it comes yeah, to this true. stuff. I mean, true. speaking of S2000, would you want to run Batman? Yeah, why not? I know it's a fast car. But yo, it is a fast car. <laughs> I know it's a fast car. You seen yeah. what happened last time though, right? Bruh, I mean. With the trail you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Bruh, <laughs> that car was <laughs> ready to it's go just, to the moon. Again, like I said, it's a gambling sport, and I'm the type that I'm willing to gamble. I'm going to do my research. Well, I already did my research on Batman. Yeah, but why you bring that part up though? Huh? Why you bring that part up? The what? The 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 launch. Like, how, what happened? Is that is it like a factor in what you're watching? Oh, um, or it's, it's just, just like it's just uh, the you know the higher like you said earlier, rear wheel drive cars, um, with high horsepower, um, it's harder to control. Right. Especially if you launch and you got you popping wheelies and you know what I mean. It's harder to control. <laughs> My car is like coming out the whole. You just like out. regular. I don't gotta really worry about nothing crazy. So I mean, it's a fast car. It'd be a good run. Hell yeah, I want to see that. 
I feel like everybody that you're up against, it definitely. I think everybody would want to see that. Yeah, yeah most people sure. that you're. You I mean, most of the cars that he races is a fucking killer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's fucking I mean, I crazy. Haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't like tried to go with, like, you know, try to find a, a race that I know I could beat, like, you know, what yeah. I mean? that's yeah. just a gamble. Tell me about your, your scariest experience with this car. Probably usually when I'm testing it because at that time when you testing you don't know what could happen that's why you testing so uh, I did have a time when I tried to test the car out on prep and the car left crazy but uh once it came out of prep because I'm a boost bugger you know what I mean picks up boost yeah. whenever you set it up uh, I guess put a little too much jam in it and uh it threw me to the right too much and for an old drive the car for an old drive car to be yeah, straight bro. for one second and instantly like Sideways for, oh uh, yeah, a good, and then you know, part, yeah. yeah, that was probably one of the most scariest parts. Yeah. How fast Testing. did you say you were going around when that happened? Fast, fast, fast. I was probably already third gear. Um, that's the money gear, right? For for for, for your setup, like third gear is when you actually. No, nah, I mean, boost by gear. Oh, boost by yes, right, right, right. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that's probably most scariest. Uh, just testing out. You know, what I mean, you never know what could happen. You gotta be. On it, hundred percent. Yeah, dude, that's that's crazy. An all-wheel drive car, that's probably it's probably worse at that point if you do lose. I mean, you got all that power to all four wheels. Yeah, that's what I'm you, saying. For 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 like an old drive car to be spending all four, and you thinking you're going straight for a second, but your car is like sideways, <laughs> and you got to try to fight it to go back straight. So yeah. when you lose control, right? From your experience, is it better to stay in it stay or to hit it. the brake? Stay or in let it. off. Don't, yes, don't hit the sir. brake. Don't hit the brake. We staying in. We it. Stay, stay in, in it. it. Yes, sir. Yo, this is honestly. I don't think people realize how controversial that is too, because there's people who have mixed. Because you know, you know, uh, if you hit the brakes like for a rear drive car, if you hit the yeah. brakes while you're doing something like that, that's catastrophic. You could crash. That's like instant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your car starts going crazy. Yeah. So um, I mean, I, I guess that comes back to when I had my S2000. You know what I mean? Stay in it. Coast it. Don't even hit the brakes. You know yeah, I mean? for me, I, I like to stay in it, and then if I lose control, maybe I like let go a little bit, man. Then stay yeah, on yeah. it. Because then you, the once you get control yeah. of it, that's it, when yeah, you go. It keeps going. Yeah. 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 That's that's a uh, wild roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, man. Crazy. <laughs> that's something that I I I don't think I'll ever get a clear answer for. I don't think anybody will because everyone has different yeah, opinions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, based on experience and also the platform that they're on, whether they're on all wheel drive or rear wheel drive, uh, front wheel drive. I'm not really sure if that's even a thing. Like front wheel drive or not? I don't think so. It don't I don't matter. know about front wheel drive. I mean, front wheel drive. drive like do you get do you lose control? I don't. I don't really know much. Uh, yeah, you could definitely lose control in a front wheel drive car, but it'd be a lot more stable, uh, easier to keep control. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could, you could yeah. definitely probably hit the brakes on a front wheel drive car. And be alright. And be cool, yeah. But a rear wheel drive car just throws you more off. Yeah. That's why you're supposed to stay in a rear wheel drive car. Right. Would you ever go to an automatic car? Would you ever try to build an automatic car or no? Um. Or you want to stay on a manual? After, uh, no, nah, right now, this is a whole nother era. You know what I mean? A recent. So, yeah. like, um, old, um, automatic cars are the way to go right now. Like, it's definitely the way to go. My next car, yeah. if I was to ever get another car, probably will be automatic. Yeah. What do you, so, what do you think it's going to be? I don't know. You Honestly, have any, like, I really do like this platform. Supra? Yeah. Finally! <laughs> You finally got somebody, man. I mean, I damn, everybody's like all oh, 340, 440, 540. Nah, I only like this platform because uh, it's not that long ago that they came out and they're already breaking sevens. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, it's the best in line six, right? Yeah. I want you to be got, a BMW. Uh, Mike, yeah. right? Mikey? Yeah. 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 He's, he's, uh, he's uh, the record holder, but he's yeah. been breaking records for a while with that car. Yeah. But yeah, man, like, how? but it's real wheel drive, though. So you said no it's going... I like them. Real drive, the platform is just there. It works. It's proven. Look, Mikey's showing everybody yeah. it works in such a short period of time. Do you, you think you can handle a real drive? Bro, yeah. we had an S2000. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. And that car is actually probably, no, it is. It's definitely, that's a, a old school car. It doesn't have yeah, all the technology this car I think it's has. pretty much night and day difference with one of these platforms than the S2000. Because with yeah. the S2000, you know what I mean, manual, you still got to uh, shift. Um, you got to worry about like uh, like RPMs, yeah. just a whole bunch of you know what I mean. The reason I got this car is because of that car. Oh, Have yeah, you ever yeah. driven a Supra before? No, nah, never. Bro, if you drive one, I'm telling you, you'll probably end up getting one. <laughs> because the only reason I got this car was because of the S2000. 
literally okay. like it it's it's a similar feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. when it comes to uh like the torquiness of mm -hmm. it well at least on my setup like if you were supercharged you probably you know what your torque numbers were honestly i don't remember that was a long time ago who tuned your car back then? clm clm, CLM. motorsports yeah i had jeff evans i don't know nobody really knows who he is but yeah i'd never oh, he's from pa right yep yeah i, I drove my car all the way out there it was may 16th i remember the day yeah. and um yeah i made some power but i just couldn't keep up with it and i ended up totaling it but um so so a supra is your is is probably we'll probably see a super from you in the near future probably you never you know you never know the evo anything you know what i mean at this point in your life would you keep the evo like is it a long-term car or is this going to be something for now a project uh, and then you're going to move on to the next everything one? got a price tag on it man yeah oh so you're not yeah you're just like whatever got the next a price is next. Tag on this. see for me I'm, i get kind of personal with the cars and I, I feel like especially with the s2000 i had three so now i look back and i'm like damn like i wish i would have been i wish i would have kept it but yeah. i had to let it go at the time because i i started my film career um and i didn't have space to I okay yeah, you know yeah. so i needed a i had a scion xb I drove a, a crappy car for about four years until I got uh, the Supra, but I built my whole, you know, my yeah, whole career, yeah. my foundation. I quit. I left the nine to five. I, I haven't worked the nine to five in years. So, um, you know, I, I regret it losing the car, but at the same time, I really don't because like I wouldn't be here yeah, yeah, doing yeah. all no, this I stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, me, I, I honestly, I, I never knew anything about, um, any, anything about cars back then. But until I bought the car, the Supra, and I started knowing more and more and more about it, mm -hmm. that's when I started doing street racing, um, going to like takeovers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And that's when I started realizing, oh shit, like I, I'm I'm pretty good at driving. Yeah, I'm yeah. not like the best, but like I'm pretty nah, good. He's actually pre he's actually a pretty good driver. Yeah, yeah. He's actually. A I mean, good I drive driver. for a living, so it, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, he's actually a pretty good driver. But I think that with you though, I think I think that uh, like you were out a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to, with anything you do in life, you have to consistently do it to get better at it. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. can't just show up one time and then be like, oh, I'm a street racer, and then disappear for, like, months and come back. And, you know, like, you were outside all the time. Yeah. So when you're doing that stuff, you kind of, you get better. Yeah, yeah, you're already used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, it. and not even that. So going to, like, racing and stuff like that, like, the way you guys race, I learned a lot of stuff from, like, the steps. Yeah, um, yeah. Like prepping, all that stuff. You know, I learned a lot of stuff. So, you know, that's yeah, the thing. Just been going out and and uh, experiencing street racing is it's a lot. Most people don't talk about that though. Like, yeah. you know, when you talk about prep, mm -hmm. if you don't go to the runs, you how you like you don't really. Yeah, that's true. Ain't nobody gonna really know right. about none of that. So a lot of people, you know, are scared to even even ask questions. So I try to make those kind of things like most on this podcast digestible for people who are kind of t intimidated to ask those kind of questions so yeah. that's why i like want to ask questions like basic yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. what's the spot and, and, and things like that um it's more so to kind of you know teach people no i got you yeah because you only know more. if you're there mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so what do you actually uh practice like your reaction when no wh about? where do you actually practice your reaction like oh, how anywhere. do you practice any, by anywhere any you know what I mean? like traffic lights <laughs> These guys, ask, I ask that question all the time. Well, yeah, I didn't I mean, ask today. We, didn't. He's he's a driver, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you get your uh, your little private road, off right. course road. Okay. I mean, you get your boy with a flashlight. Oh, so you pr use use a, a light flashlight? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can always pretend somebody's next to you. Have your boy point like if you usually point. Right, you know right. What I mean, and just hit the light. You don't feel like that isn't as accurate as actually being in a run because you can't. Can you hear the car next to you, like two stepping or? or nah, man, I got a hood exit in my car, oh, and so I you always phase everybody. Bro, out. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The first race when he raced RPT, bro, I am not gonna lie to you. He, his car was so loud. I had to like. I thought it was RPT's car that was loud. It was your car. Nah, he was his car was louder, bro. Nah, yeah, both, yeah, both of us got hood exits, but in my car. Whenever I'm in there racing, um, or like practice, whatever, I phase everybody out. You know what I mean? Even when I'm actually physically racing somebody, I just phase everybody out and just do whatever I gotta do. So you get like tunnel vision. Yeah. Damn. Do you like, get like nervous when you're? Yeah, you know, I was gonna say you gotta talk nah, about the experience there. Yeah. In the beginning, yeah, but like now, especially with this setup, it's a, uh, it's a lot smoother. It takes off a lot better. Well, easier. we're talking about like when you have 
money in line, like big money. Nah, it's no? just phase everybody out, man. Don't even think about nothing. Just that's do cool, whatever man. you gotta do. That's that's it just comes out naturally now. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that the people who actually are like are making a name for themselves, they have all have that in common where it's like it's just like you really you just focused and you're doing it because you love it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You're not doing it for at least at least the people we've spoken to. Right. Because I haven't got any any different answers from from people. Nah, yeah, you just feed yourself out, focus on what you gotta do, and just let the car do whatever it gotta do. And you know right what there. I realized too? A lot of people would be talking shit online and saying, Oh, like you're not the best driver and you this and that. Bro, you don't you, you don't experience I'm not gonna lie, yo. You know, this is what I'm saying. You don't experience it from like being out there and, pressure. And, and like yeah the pressure yeah. and bro like being a being a driver and being a race a street racer bro you had to like do it all the time so you get used to it yeah and i feel like not a lot of people know that no of course not they don't they definitely driving don't. high yeah. horsepower cars man it ain't for the week any little movement any little sometimes it'd be races i'd be, it'd be looking like the cargo street but i'm in there dancing with the steering wheel playing you know what i mean it's just, that's why when I, whenever I see somebody saying that uh, uh, you need a driver mod or stuff yeah. like that, man, they could sit in my seat. They do day. say that. They do. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, they do say that, that uh, on, on your races. They do say that. Driver mod. But nobody ever knows what's actually going on. And every, yeah. every, every single run you've done that I've seen, you see things happening and it's like, nah, something's off. Like something. What's up? You don't, you don't really yeah. know exactly what's going on, but you just hear the car. So people yeah. automatically assume like, oh, this guy don't know how to drive yeah, or yeah, something's yeah. going on. But like, it's yeah. way different when you're actually in the car and you know, you're actually like in the race. Mm -hmm. So it is funny that you said that because most people say that on your, on your, on your nah, runs. Yeah. I mean, I'm racing all these automatic cars too. So it's kind of hard for them to mess up. Yeah. But for me, have you messed you know up? I mean? Huh? Have you messed up? Uh, yeah, I messed up. Um, I raced the track hawk. Well, this is my old setup, different transmission, everything. Uh, you know, miss miss shifting, yeah, yeah, or like little clutch issues, cause um a lot of the times when you're in a high horsepower Evo, if you don't got your clutch adjusted right, it won't let you in gear. Like you're you're locking yourself out. Damn, so it's just bro. stupid stuff like that that'll really mess you up, and then you get all these comments, oh you don't know how to drive stuff like that. But it's it's too much in it. You know what I mean? That's literally the top comment. I just yeah, that, yeah, it's it's way more in it than just so actually do you, shifting. Do you test the car out before, like before you go to the run, or with, when it comes to the clutch, or the night before, um, and you let it sit, and then? Yeah, usually I test the car out, do a hit, see how it feel. Um, with that silver e, uh Supra, I didn't even check. I didn't even check it. Usually I do, but I should have, and that's when I would have knew that uh the intercooler pipe was cracked. Yeah, a lot goes into this, man. Yeah. Right, goes into this. But I, I'm happy that you brought that up because um, that was one of the things that I did want to touch on. And you can't speak for yourself on on these videos, yeah, of no, course, because I mean, you're in the moment. And yeah. um, the videos actually capture, you know, what's actually happening there. So it's a mm -hmm. whole different vibe. Um, but now that, you know, the question was asked, now we kind of know, okay, nah, like yeah, this is what's yeah. actually going on. And, you know, you're fighting the wheel while you're driving. I don't know what to say. If you, I, don't, I don't know if it's fighting the wheel or if you're just like trying to. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Yeah. It's an old drive car, man, but at that level, it ain't going straight. Yeah. It'll it'll probably leave straight. Uh, you know, cause like I said, it's boost by gear or whatever. Yeah. But once once you hit full boost, it's just like you got now you really gotta keep it straight. Cause right. you never know. Any little movement could throw you off or whatever. Are you on an AM on your car? AM. Standalone. This is Instagram post that you just put out recently. Uh I think it was one of your last posts. Where you were just basically saying that you race anybody. Oh, that was the that was the Evo call out. Oh, Evo. Yeah, that was right. It was the Evo call out. Still to this day, I'm looking for another Evo who want to sit next to me. I Whatever happened with four or five Evo? Yo, you gotta tell me because I hit four or five up, man. <laughs> Yo, you know the way it was funny because um this was damn this was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he it was that, at, it that was, was the, the race. That was the race when I raced the, the first uh, yeah. blue Evo, my first yeah. race. And he and you were looking for he was like uh he was like I have an Evo. Yeah, have an Evo. Evo. You want to run an Evo? Yeah. So like uh, I've been hitting up hit him up about it i think it was like a few days after that and then um i don't know i guess uh i guess i gotta respect it or whatever how you because you know some some people like him looking at us like we were a little too aggressive cool. like that night so um oh okay i guess like he didn't like the energy so he just didn't want to deal with you know what i mean do we, do we know anything about his evo um no i don't even care who built it who who driving <laughs> Shit, it man. i don't care who uh, like if he still got it like i'll go anywhere 
So you feel like yours is is by far the the fastest and and um in the street in the street in the street uh I'm gonna say yeah only because uh I'm like in the Evo community right. I don't know how like everybody else is with like the supers and everything but um like we're all actually pretty cool like real cool so like uh it's never like a rivalry kind right. of a thing but um I'm just trying to see like how fast can I really push my car and I've been racing uh pretty fast high horsepower Evos built by like really really good shops who's the top builder out right is, is sheepy do you consider it because he actually started with hondas right yeah and then he started doing evo evo uh, yeah. kits and now um, he's doing freaking exotic so that's i would say like shops evo shops? shops yeah they got a couple they got a couple they got uh bean fab shout out to bean fab that's my engine builder um they got uh they got rt obviously probably the number one right now for evos yeah um he's the record holder um, what's the record again seven six seven, i think six. i don't know if he cracked the seven fives yet but i know he did run a seven six he has the et and i know nick has the uh mile an hour and they're both you know what i mean from the same they tri-state uh connecticut wow connecticut is close um who else they got ag autosports in florida he just <laughs> crazy the turbo the turbo he put in his car is the one i'm trying to um Slapping my car right now. He ran, uh, I forgot what he ran, but. Uh, Sevens? No, he ran, I think he was on a 76 mil. Yeah. On the same turbo. And he, he tested the car and it ran a flat 80 on his first test hit, which is fast. And then um he went bigger, which is the turbo I'm getting too. What? So, yeah, we're going to see how we go with that. Um, <laughs> who else? They got Joey. You know Joey, right? Yeah. Yeah, they got start to finish Joey. I, I, who's, who's that guy? Um, who's that guy with the um, the guy that raced four five? Who? Um, he had an Evo. The white one? I think it's the Down? white one or gray one. I don't. I'm a not gray sure. Gray one? It's. I think it's the white one though. He yeah, raced four five in the, the in the hatch. In the red one. You talking about? Oh, five? it's the white one. Yeah, yeah it's the white, white one. Yeah, the white one. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That one was fast, no? Yeah, but um, I think uh, he caught him up top, right? In that race, I I don't know what happened, but all I, I know like four five won that he, race. I, nah, I nah, Dom won that race, right? Yeah, he caught him up yeah, top. Yeah, Dom won okay, that race. Yeah. yeah, um, nah, Dom cool. Uh, um, I think we different categories though. Like you know, like I said, we all talk. It's not. What do um, you mean category? Like, as in like uh, he he's like stock block. Um, okay, you know okay, what I mean, yeah, like yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Like he has his own little. It's a fast car. Would you give but, him like a spot or no? Um, nah, with the Evos, you know what it is? Because, uh, I want it all heads up with the Evos. Okay. You know what I mean? Evo, any, any Evo, basically. Yeah, any, right. like, it could be from anywhere. That's why I'm calling the guys out from Cali now. Any street Evo, like, next lane, I don't care who it is. New, Tri-State oh, or? And, and, I told the country, honestly. I, I, oh, I was saying the I, country. I ain't know Oh, you going to that. That. <laughs> that. That was the Evo call out, that post. It was, it the, was country? the country? Yeah, it was the country. But, um, that's why I'm calling out them Evos from, uh, Cali. But, uh, like, even out here, they local... You know what I mean? We could definitely set it up. Heads up, though. Like yeah, heads up. Yeah, all heads up. Full prep. Yeah, I don't care what they do. Okay. Like, it could be prep, full prep. I don't care if who. It could be a tuner driving. I don't care who it is. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't even know that, bro. I thought it was just Tri-State. Nah. I'm some people are out. just like, new, like you know. You know I mean? But yeah. We're supposed to actually have a, um, a couple Evos from Cali come down. We're going to meet them in Ohio. For this Evo shootout in Ohio. So, okay. Uh, September. So uh, we're going to see what's up with that. You know what's funny about the Evo shootout? I was just talking to somebody earlier who went, and he mentioned that um, it was his first time going, and <laughs> it was literally like, one would do a pass, I'm doing a break. Yeah. Next yeah, one yeah. comes it's up. It's always like that same every year. Thing. Like, yeah. those cars yeah. always <laughs> freaking yeah. break. Like, it's just a known thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have, to, you have to have a certain level of patience to deal with those cars. Without oh, yeah, like 100%. getting frustrated and throwing a wrench and, and cracking your windshield yeah, or something yeah. like, literally, because those cars like are so like temperamental and it's like I don't understand how people like yourself have the patience to deal with that shit. But you're laid back, yeah. and it's I feel like most evil guys are pretty chill, right? Yeah, they're pretty chill. You have to be. Yeah. You can't like for me, I prob I I give up. Yeah, I can't. A lot of people don't have patience for that, bro. And I'd be the definitely the one to nah, give up. You definitely need patience, yo. Anybody who's planning on owning an Evo in the future, just know you need patience. <laughs> you never, you never like the Evo tens, right? Nah. Yeah. 
Those are those aren't even. So yours is is cast iron block, right? Yeah. You so don't sleeve it. You don't sleeve those those blocks, right? Nah. You know the record for those? Mm. By any chance? No, but I, I think they're in the sevens too. Sevens on those? Yeah. Um, I don't remember who it was, but they're definitely in the sevens. That's pretty impressive well, for that. Wait, car. I don't know if it's the Evo tens. I gotta check. I know they got some fast ones. Yeah. But they're up there, like they're up there, up there. Like, did it take a longer time to to get those numbers out of the, out of that car? Um, yo, honestly, no, because it, uh, because it wasn't that far along when uh when all these Evos started running sevens. It was probably a couple years ago. You know what I mean? Then Reef ended up, um, he ran a seven second pass, but he ran it like, like, he did a whole nother level of running. Like you seen that video when he, when he blew a hole off his the, the head, and he I still ran that seven pass, that. that seven second pass, and um, damn. And then he ended up fixing it, and then he got the work, the record. And now he has Nick um, with a mile an hour, you know what I mean, right under him. You know what I mean, they're building fast cars over there. You're not going, you're not, that's track stuff, though, right? That's not Oh, like, uh, let's see what the future holds, man. I'm trying to go to the track world. You haven't been to the track with your car? I did one time. Tested it out for the first time ever since I had it. Uh, Were you ever trying to, like, break the record, though? Nah, nah. It's too nah. many. Yo, it's, you, you know what it is? You, you got to get to the point when... You gotta know when to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's always gonna be somebody. And that yeah. and Rafe is money, that yeah. somebody. With more money out the shop, yeah. That is true. He's gonna always push and push and push. And no matter how hard you're gonna push, he's, there's always gonna be somebody else true. that's gonna push too. You know what I mean? So true. you gotta like set your limit, your goal. Yeah. And just try to stick with it like that. Damn, New York really like New York tri state area. Oh, I should say East Coast. Like, there's a lot of potential out here, man. Yeah, I feel like we don't really get the credit out here. New I don't York, want to say we because I'm not really. Uh, New York has all the, like, everything. Like New York has all yo, these cars. New York for the win, bro. It's, I don't care. Like, bro, look, <laughs> it's, I'll tell you one thing. It's a lot easier for these New York cars to come up than than these Jersey cars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though they're fast and everything, yeah. like the light shines on New York more than what it yeah. shines on my side. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's why I'd be like, it's like that with anything, though. Yeah, like yeah 100 percent. new york is is always gonna yeah, be like that you know what i mean you know it, it business um you know any anything bro it could be sports yo, whatever. Yo, jersey got heat though if you ever set that up <laughs> i got three people off the top of my head that i already know they with it yeah i mean we'll, we'll set it up pretty much soon sooner or later but you know it's it's gonna be hard you know it's gonna be like what you said most people are scared bro yeah yeah that's i don't problem. know what scared of what what are you scared of scared of losing Losing the uh, how you say? I mean, it? a shootout can be like, like what thousand a pot per, per driver, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then if we get like what six cars, yeah, that'd be that'd be nah, that'd be dope. You you take like what five thousand home, <laughs> whoever yeah, to that'd win. Be, that'd be dope. What's yeah. the biggest pot you you've uh, you ran for? Um, I think it was with, I think it was RPT. It was like seventy something, seventy six hundred or something like that. And that was just, uh, that was just like a first run for him like he never ran no that, that was the second one that's when my car broke oh okay okay <laughs> mm. yeah so wait you're one on one with him now yeah and we were supposed to run it back but um you know other things got into yeah. it and yeah. then um like how you say it uh it was it was a little bit of back and forth between me and him but like we're cool whatever but uh at that time it was like we yeah going at back and forth. he'll be he'll be out he'll yeah. be awesome now yeah 100 percent. he got his other car yeah. already supposed to have him i think next week yeah, so. we're trying to we're trying to get all the all the other big it's guys. Coming. Out here. Yeah, that guy. It's coming. That's a good dude. Yeah, you know yeah. how to build cars. He seems tr he seems chill, just like you know. Nah, yeah, he chill. He chill. It's yeah. different, you know. You're not you're not gonna see too much uh, drama over, like especially with you guys. Cause yeah. Yeah, both pretty chill. And one last one last thing. This is your first podcast, right? Yeah. So how, what's like your experience with like you know stuff like this? Well, what do you mean? Like, what's what does he think about? Yeah, what do you think time? about it? Like, you know. Uh, I don't know, I'm chilling. Like, like when we asked you to be in the podcast, like, you know, what what came out of your mind? Oh, no, it was cool cuz like 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 somebody like me, I don't I don't, I don't expect stuff Yeah, but like I feel this. like a lot of people don't really know who you are. Not yeah. not who you are, but I'm saying like they don't know the personality. You, you, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, I mean, this is dope. I mean, uh, it, it gives a good platform right. to to actually show who the people are and stuff like that. Right. It's dope. I think that a lot of people just don't want to be on camera because, um, you know, it's it's street racing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But 
Mexico. But Mexico. we have fucking um, what's his name, uh, Ak here with a mask on. He <laughs> was pretty cool with it. Yo, <laughs> Ak is so cool. Though. But Man, bro, I think that chill. people don't realize when they say, "Oh, I don't want to be on camera on what I'm doing." It's it's kind of like yeah, but you're literally on camera at the, the time at the race doing what you're not supposed to do so yeah. if you're on a couch man, talking listen, about man, we all f- past well, how you say things it? like we, we we all trail our cars right we go to the border we unload our cars and that's where we all yeah with no mask if if there's anything going on you're already being watched i promise you that because it's already documented whatever's going on <laughs> yeah, so true. the least you could you know what i'm saying like you're on a couch talking about you know how you got into racing that's it well, ain't nothing crazy i take a lot of trips to mexico man that's that's all i do <laughs> but i feel like that's probably why you're so confident and why you know why you're you'll you'll run anybody heads up with the evo yeah any evo any other any evo, evo. no nah, i definitely want to run that gtr i'm trying to think though i know out of like because i had a list before but i don't know where everybody else's car is now mm-hmm. but um hezzy's definitely on the list like i'm Hezzy. gonna smoke that bmw bad oh bro. You would smoke Hezzy. I'm going to do that BMW dirty. Oh. Um, I didn't know you was going to go there with that. <laughs> I want to see the Pepper race again. Honestly, Pepper, I'm, we, me and Pepper going to have to run it back. Um, Like I said, one stock earlier, that would be one definitely for the books. Yeah. Um, The GTR. Oh. What about my car? Let's go right now. <laughs> take a trip to Mexico. He thinks, he thinks it's a joke, bro. I'm serious. What about my car? Well, heads up. Yeah, heads up. <laughs> All right. I don't care. My bucks. <laughs> he looked at it. He was like, man, I ain't got no time for that. Oh, but what about yeah, what honestly, it's not a lot of people. Yeah. Not, ba- not like how I wanted it. Like, that. you don't got that urge. Batman would be a good run, too. I'm not going back down if you ever tried it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, yeah, that would be a fire run. Yeah. I'm trying to see. It's not I, like me. I don't got the urge no more to, like, try to reach out. You know what I mean? It's just it is what it is. Like, if y'all want to get it on, we just we do it. But, you oh, had an urge before though oh yeah oh yeah I was. oh yeah I he was, was outside like i was trying hunting. to call him out bro i was hunting what, what kind of put you back you know what kind of made you because like i said earlier it ain't it ain't like as fun as it used to be right. you know what i mean like even if you win bro you think i want to sit here and fight over some bread that i like come on you jump the light or wait you don't want to be up to four stupid. in the morning arguing <laughs> no nah, i'm tired of that i did it too many times <laughs> Why not, bro? It's fun. <laughs> nah, I get bored after a while. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. I'm like, yo, and, and and if it's cold outside, it's even worse. True. Yeah. Like people just want their money. Word. Trying to go home. True. It's terrible. But yeah, but I, I definitely appreciate you coming down. You have any more questions? No, 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 man. Yeah. I, I mean, Ang, yeah, this is dope. Ang yeah. is a pretty cool guy, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. Cool guy, True, man. Bro. You seem like you didn't have anything to talk about. Like you wanted to announce or anything like that? Like your shop, like you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like for some reason, I feel like you had something that you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. To. Uh, what? What shop? Oh, you, I thought you work on cars and stuff. Oh like no, nah, yeah, I'll, I'll be working on a whole bunch of cars. I got my own little detailing gig going on. Oh, you detail cars? Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got my own little uh, detailing thing. Um. Yeah, pretty much that's it, really. Mm. If y'all need y'all cars worked on, hit I me. mean, shout, shout out to your pops, man. Yeah, yeah. Pops. He actually <laughs> came out <laughs> here. It's pretty my cool. We wanted him to be in a podcast, like, you yeah. know, experience, like, street racing oh. and him being there, you know? You guys work on cars together? Yeah. He's, That's he, how I actually, I, uh, he the one who got me into all this, really. What was Pop's oh, first car? Well, what was Pop's? Uh, now nah, he, he wasn't really into the racing scene, but he was into more of the mechanic and all that. Uh, he got okay, me into yeah, all yeah. that. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a man, he's the man behind the scenes that makes yeah. it all, all come together. That's well, dope. Props for you, Pops. Yeah, props for you, Pops. Uh, Seriously. Yeah. So uh, tell them where to find you. Well, on IG, Ange the God. Um, yeah. Ange the God? Yeah. Ange the God. And uh, that's it? Any of the platforms? Yeah. You don't have a YouTube, right? Nah, I ain't got no YouTube. How? So why don't, why don't I notice one thing on your Instagram is you don't really post too much content. Um. Is it because, like, you're always constantly working in your car? Or? Honestly, I'm always just working in general. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm always busy. So, like, uh... Like, I'll try to, I always tell myself, like, I always try to stay consistent. That's why I never really got into YouTube, because I know I'm never consistent. It's hard, yeah. man. Like, it's hard. bro, it's too hard. Mm, I don't know. It's I tough. Just, well, I hope to see more content from you, bro, because. Yeah, seriously. I uh, feel like yeah. uh, if you start putting your car out there, even if it's, like, video or, like, even, like, reels or something like that, just yeah, showing yeah. the car, 
I think you'll definitely be able to blow up on probably, that. Probably with this new setup, um, I'll probably start posting a couple. Because like me, I don't, I don't care who yeah. look at my hood or not. I mean, well, think about it, because you're the only guy that's racing on, on Evo in the tri-state, yeah. right? So, you know. Wait, mm-hmm. he is? Yeah. yeah uh, pretty much, right? You're the um, only one that's be yeah, racing? Yeah, pretty much like the only, uh, I, I would say like the only Evo actually like out here racing. Yeah. I mean, it was down at one point. Down was yeah. out here too. But um, yeah, they got other Evos out here. Definitely, I know that that are 100 percent ready, like ready and worthy yeah. of, of racing these big time cars too. But um, but they got they got yeah, next everybody thing. got their own thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. All right, well, uh, appreciate your time, brother, and um, hopefully, hopefully, I could attend your next run because yeah, I true. definitely want to see what what you got lined up or who you're gonna line up against yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and I actually haven't seen your car run in person, so yeah, I definitely gotta. I definitely gotta be here for the next one. Let's see. This yeah. Nothing's setup. really happening right now. It's kind of. It's kind of static. It's like, like nothing's really moving right now. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of talk, it's the a lot of chat. Yeah, it's that, that time but that's of the why I keep saying everybody's scared of each other. Yeah, everyone's just yeah. chatting right now. Ain't yeah, nobody really, really doing talking, nothing. But they ain't really trying to race. Yeah. So um, hopefully you could break the. You know what I'm saying? Break the ice a little bit. See what's up? I'll be running like three, four cars a week. I'll be bowling. <laughs> <laughs> He's even bowling. Damn, bro. But um. All right, well, that wraps up the, this episode. Until next time, guys, uh, make sure you guys listen on all streaming platforms, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.